I want to show you how you can use Dynamics GP to track serial numbers throughout your business. I'm going to show you an example of receiving serialized items into my raw material inventory, using those in a manufacturing process and a bomb to create a finished good, and then tracking that finished good out to the end user. So let's take a look at it. I've already received the serialized components into the system, and now I want to create a bill of material, put that into a manufacturing order, and then make the finished good items. So I've put the bill of material already together. Let's take a look at it here. It's a pretty simple one. It has one level of components. You can see those two components here, a data card and a processor. These are serialized, denoted by this icon here. The finished good is also serialized, the pro computer. So that's the bill of material I'm going to use in my manufacturing process. Now let's create a manufacturing order for that. And see how we include the component items. And also what we need to do is then link the serial numbers from the component items into the finished goods. And we'll get to that. So let me create a manufacturing order here quickly. Let's make two items, and I'm going to put the system date in here. So this is a simple manufacturing order for two items, and I've selected two items so you can see how we link the component serial numbers to the finished goods serial numbers. I'm going to release this manufacturing order. It's released now. This is a simple bill of material. It's a back flush, so we can go right to the material excuse me, to the manufacturing receipt transaction. Let's do that now. Go to the receipt entry here. So this is the entry you put in at the end of the manufacturing process. This is where I verify all the components and the labor that went into this manufacturing job and make sure that's correct. And then when I post this, this is actually going to create the finished good. It's going to relieve the component inventory of these two items. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that I've got the right component serial numbers. I can auto select those or I can go here select the line item and then select them manually which I'll do here. I'm going to insert this one and insert this one here. And then for the second component I've got four of those. I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to auto select four of them. There you go. So now I've got the component items identified by serial number. I'm going to go to the finished good item up here. Open that up. I don't have a finished good serial number, but I've got a mask set up so I can automatically generate that. You can see that information down here. I need two. I'm going to auto generate those. It's going to create those serial numbers now for the finished good items. So this is one of the first steps in serial numbers in the manufacturing process. I want to identify the serial numbers for the components also identify the serial number for the finished goods. Now I need to link these together so I can show the proper component serial number with the proper finished goods serial number. So I'll do that. I'll go to link components here. Up here I've got the serial, the finished goods serial item number that I'm going to link the components to. So on this serialized finished good here I've got uh, ProComp 13. I use this data card here. I'm going to add that and then the processor processors. I've got four of them that went into the manufacturing process. I'm going to use these two and link those now to the finished good item 13. Go to my second finished good item which is 14. I've got these components left that have not yet been linked. I'm just going to select those and now they are linked to the finished good. So I've done everything I need to do on the manufacturing side and I'm just going to post this transaction. And again, when I post that, it's going to go in and create the finished good items. So what I want to show later now is how to track these items. So let's go back and make note of the serial numbers that I used. For the finished good, I used ProComp 13. And then let's pick one of these components here. Let's take a look at this one. And let's track this one, PROC 12. These are the serial numbers I want to use in my demonstration of how you can use Dynamics GP to follow the links, inquire on the links of serial numbers throughout the system. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've created the finished good here. I'm going to post that. It's going to create the finished goods in my finished goods inventory. And next I want to sell that item out. So let's go and do that next. So let's go to the sales area page. Hold up sales transaction. And let's put a sales order in.
pick up a customer here and put that into a batch. And here's the finished good item right here. Let's select that. And let's use all two of those. I believe my system is set up to automatically select the serial numbers, but we can verify it. We can click on the line detail screen here and take a look at the serial numbers. These are the serial numbers that are selected for this particular order. And you can see on the left hand side, I have no available serial numbers. So that, that means that this item is completely now allocated um, out of my inventory. So I've got these two serial numbers on this sales order here. And let's go ahead and just uh, ship that. So I'm going to transfer this to an invoice. And here's my invoice right here. Let me just take it out of the batch and then I'm going to post that. All right, now let's take a look at how we can track and we can trace serial numbers throughout Dynamics GP. So the first one's a simple one. We're going to go to Sales Serial Lots here. And we're going to look up the serial numbers that have been uh, shipped for a particular item. And then we're going to drill down and see the customer to whom that went. So let's just put in the finished good item here. I'm going to redisplay this. It's going to show me all the sales orders, sales invoices that included this particular item. I can go down here and let's take a look at this item here. This is the one we're going to track, ProComp 13. I can select that, drill back to the document number here, and I see the invoice that this number was included on when it went out to the end user. Okay, that's a simple one. Let's take a look at another trace. This one's going to be a little more complex, so let's start at the inventory area here. We're going to go into Serial Lot Trace. So what I want to do here is I want to look up the finished good item and then track back, trace back, and find out which component items came into that item, which were manufactured into that item, and where those components came from. So let's look up the finished good item here. It's PRO1. And I want to look up ProComp 13. This is the finished good we're going to track here. So here I've got all the transactions related to this finished good items. You can see the sale transaction. We just looked at that. Here's the invoice again. But let's take a look at the manufacturing order for that. So I can go to this view bomb trace here. And what I want to do is I want to see the components that were incorporated into this finished good item. So let's open that up. And we're going to go and look at consumed into the serial lot. This is the manufacturing receipt number we just did. And these are the components, all the components that were in that receipt. You can see the ones that have this little link icon. These are the ones that are actually included in this particular serial number 13. So I can look at that here. I've got the card here. I've got these two processors. I can expand this a little bit. And this will give me information on the receipt. And that is the purchase receipt from uh, when this item came into my business. So this item here, this serial card, this card is a serialized number. It came from this vendor ID here, and this is the purchase receipt that it came into my inventory. So this is tracing it back from the finished good to the manufacturing order to the component inventory and then to the actual receipt. Same with these down here. These are my actual receipt numbers, the numbers that the receipts that these items came into my inventory. So again, this is what you would use if you had a finished good item, you knew what the serial number was, and you want to see what the components were of that. So next, let's take a look at another way around. Let's track a component level up and see where it went. So again, I'm going to use the serial lot tracing query, find all transactions for a serial number, but I'm going to put a component item in here. Here's a processor, a component item, and let me redisplay that. So let's take a look at the component item. Uh, we were looking at PROC 12. Here it is. So this will show us all the transactions for this component item. You can see the receiving transaction it came in on. We can drill back on that. Again, this is the purchase receipt that it came into my inventory. And now I want to see what happened to this component item when it went through the manufacturing process and where did it end up. So I can use the view, the view bomb trace here. I can open that up, and I'm going to see it produced from this particular serial number. We can see where it went. It went into that manufacturing order 
04. And I went into this particular finished good item here. And then we can select the invoice and we can see that that particular comp component was included in a finished good that went out to this customer here, Adam Park. This was a quick example of how you can track serial numbers within Dynamics GP. I tracked a component item with a serial number in the inventory through the manufacturing process into the finished good and then into a sales invoice, invoice and out to the end user. Likewise, I can track that finished good item from a particular invoice back into the manufacturing process and back into the component inventory. The lot number processing is very similar. It uses the same screens, so you can track both serial numbers and lot numbers within Dynamics GP.